morning, West Warwick High School. Today is Monday, January 28th, day G. The periods go 5, 6, 7, 2, 3, 1. They may have lost second quarter, but the, ca but the class of 2020, but the class of 2019 is not going down without a fight. The winning crown returns to the class of 2019, followed by the class of 2020, 2021, and 2022 in descending order. Attention Wizards, beginning Friday and throughout the month of February, the Student Council will be collecting money for cancer research. All donations go directly to the Ro Rhode Island Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. There will be a Student Council meeting Wednesday after school in room 223. All class officers must attend. Yep. Just a reminder for our senior superlative winners. Pictures will, will be taken Friday, February 1st, right after school in the gymnasium. Please dress and or bring props that you that reflect the category for what you were nominated. See Mr. Grenier and Mr. Brusso with any questions. And the next junior class social committee meeting will be Friday, February 1st, right after school in room 121. All juniors are welcome to attend as they make plans for your post-prom and prom. See Mr. Brusso or Mr. Grenier with any questions. Raffle tickets for the school resource officer parking spot are on sale until the end of lunch on Thursday. The winner will be able to park in the teacher's parking lot through the month of February. T tickets are $1 each or six, or six tickets for $5. See one of the junior class officer officers or Mr. Brusso <laughs> in room 121 for tickets. And it's that time of year again, voting for the Rhode Island Teen Book Award winner. If you have read a minimum of three books from the list, you can complete the survey in your email and vote for your favorite. Readers who vote will have their names entered into a raffle for a free bundle of brand new books. Voting ends on February 22nd. Please see Mrs. Inman in the library if you have any questions. Attention seniors, the deadline for parent and business ads for the yearbook is Friday, February 1st, so the end of this week. Uh, check your Google Classroom page for more information. Now let's go to Val again for the sports. Over the weekend, Dante Lopes scored a game-high 28 points, and Ja'Kai Rose put together another double-double with 17 points, 11 rebounds, as West Warwick surprised Barrington 81-65 in Division II play. The Wizards improved to 6-5, while the Barrington slips to while Barrington slips to 9-2. The boys' indoor track team placed fifth in the division championships in Providence on Saturday. LJ Ray won the long jump with a leap of 20 feet, 8.75 inches. Wow. The hockey team dropped a 6-2 decision to Pilgrim at their arena Saturday. The Hawk Wizards fell behind 5-0 before Kyle Nicholas and Ethan Jetson put WWE WEG on the board with goals in the second and third periods. The team drops to 4-5 and five in Division Three play. And on the sports schedule tonight, girls basketball will host Ponagansett at 6.30. Here's Miranda with the meeting and events. There's a broadcast club meeting in the media center after school today. Contact Nick Carlson with any questions. And here today with us is Will Pellet, editor-in-chief of The Magic Word, to talk about the new issue. Yes, I am. Thank you for being with us today. No problem. I have no choice. Uh, <laughs> what are the lead stories for this month's issue? So this month's issue includes a story on midterm exams and whether or not they should be replaced by more subjective things rather than objective. Um, and we also have a few stories on the photos from 9 to 5, which went very well. And I went to see it. It was really, really good. Um, and some reviews of upcoming movies and a sports wrap-up of the whole season. What else can students look for? So the usual stuff, the crosswords, the puzzles, and the games page in general. <laughs> Where can students get the paper? So you can get it at the Media Center online now and as well as an advisory on Tuesday. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> now, let's see the quote of the day. Uh, this comes from May West. You only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. So take that to heart. Now let's go to Jocelyn with the birthdays. Celebrating a birthday yesterday were Zachary No and Dylan Taylor. They shared a birthday with Wolfgang Mozart, who died at 35 in 1791. <laughs> Celebrating a birthday today are Grant Black, Randy Mata, Kareem A. Rivera Del Valle. She shared, they share a birthday with rapper J. Cole, who turns 34. So happy birthday, everyone. And now in out. From Mr. Alves, I'd rather have a student with straight A's in character and, t and integrity than math and science. And that's, it from all of us. and that's it for today's morning show. From all of us up here, have a great day, Wizards.